Damon Bungard, product manager at Jackson Kayak. Welcome to iCast 2018. Lots of questions on new products, always from these shows. So I'm gonna take some time and we're gonna talk just about the new Jackson Kayak Big Rig HDFD. Now, why is it HDFD? It's because the new Big Rig isn't just a paddle boat. There's two options. You can paddle it or you can pedal it. And there's two configurations. And it's really cool, a very innovative system we've come up with to help you do that. Now, once we launched the Kusa FD last year, we had a lot of immediate questions and, and, and requests for, will you please, please, please make a Big Rig FD? So we, we've been listening. We wanted to do it different and we'll give you one new really innovative solution and we think we've done that in the new Big Rig HD FD. So we'll kind of walk through it, go from bow to stern, look at both options, both configurations and help you decide which is going to be best for you this fall. The first thing you're going to notice is like our other HDs, there's going to be the, the, the hatch system that you're familiar with. So snag free toggles, paddle storage strap on the front, same thing on the stern. You're also going to notice that we have the same now fully trimmable seating. The current big rig only has high-low. Now we have high-low and infinitely trimmable seating. That, of course, is needed for pedaling so you can get your ergonomics right. Covers have been updated. Now we have a new, more breathable seat cover itself, and it's all Molly compatible. If you don't know what Molly is, that's the modular lightweight load carrying equipment you'll see on a lot of technical gear. But it's great because now it's user configurable. So you can add any accessories you want, a lot of off-the-shelf options available, and you can customize your seat as you see fit. People love the big rigs, rod troughs. Well, now we've, we've doubled it. So the rod trough itself now can store two rods on either side, and we have new rod butt stagers to help you manage those rods and keep them secure on the water. We also have now a paddle clip that can mount to the side of the kayak to help you store your paddle if you are either kayaking or you want to bring an extra paddle if you're pedaling. There's also new fly reel pockets in the back, so if you're using a typical nine-foot-ish nine fly rod and a, you get saltwater set up, bigger orbers, you can store those. Very similar to the pockets we have on the Mayfly. Getting into the hull of the kayak, it's a little wider than, than the last big rig, a little longer, and what we've done is improved both tracking yet maneuverability at the same time, and we've done that by integrating the rudder system in the FD side of it also into the HD. So on the FD, you're controlling your steering with a hand control, just like Akusa FD. But now on the paddle version, to help you turn faster, you actually have foot con a foot-controlled rudder. So you can be kayaking along and want to turn a really big kayak on a dime, you can engage that paddle and you spin that, that big kayak in a very tight spot. Really, really cool, highly maneuverable for a big kayak. So let's take some time to talk about the uniqueness of the pods themselves. So what we've done is, you can imagine like a, a tuna tank, only bigger. So we have a large section of the middle of the hull cut out of both of them. Same geometry, two distinct pods. One pod in the paddle version is just storage. So you're gonna see a hatch, the dual lever hatch, just like on Blue Sky Boat Works. Now, so you can access that, that pod for convenient storage right at, the, right at the base of your feet yet it's still flat, open, standing area, non-cluttered, so you can fish, keep everything handy without it being in your way. Then on the, on the flex drive version, on the pedal version, it has the geometry to accept the flex drive base unit, the articulating dagger board, and the prop for cleaning. So now when you wanna, if you, if you buy the HD, and later you decide you wanna pedal, you can buy the pod, you can buy the flex drive, and convert your boat right into a pedal drive. Or if you have the flex drive and you're gonna fish a tournament or you're going somewhere that you'd rather paddle, you can switch it out. It's all up to you. So both options will be available. Both parts are interchangeable. So you're going to see more tracks on the new big rigs, an upgrade from plastic tracks to now metal tracks, so you have, and even more of them. So you have more, more customization options. You can expect to see the big rig HD FDs available in stores this fall with the FD price coming in around $32.99 and the HD price coming in around 2000. So keep an eye out, stay tuned for the final, final release, final details, but lots of interest and if you have any questions or comments, fire them here below and we'll do our best to answer them.